Hello everyone. Today you can see I have made a big poster and it is related by math and also about health and doctor care. So my you can see my title right here, Math Cat. My dad and we all found this title together. It's actually health care but we changed it to Math Cat. And now I will be explaining some stuff that are really detailed and my main idea in this is to focus on my my solutions and my questions. So let me read my questions right now. Let's go to the, this question. Our, these I decorated by like bones and also these are just fluff. Let me read the question. My friend Lizzie has a fever. Her temperature was 38 degrees Celsius in the morning. In the afternoon, it increased by 2 degrees Celsius. At night, it decreased by 3 degrees Celsius. What was her temperature at night? How about you guess what the answer is? Guess for now. Guess for now. Just tell me. 30. 36. 30, no, tell me why. Like, tell me why. Like, when I hit the answers. Oh, hit the answer. It should be on thermometer because it's uh, based on the temperature. Okay, where is the thermometer? Which one? I could part? see here. Yeah, where is it going to be? On top? Oh, that I don't bottom. know. Oh, yeah, 37 degrees Celsius. The answer is there. Yeah, it's right here. And I can open it and you can also see I have a sentence in the equation for this. That's great. Nice. Okay, now let's move on to the second question. Mr. Don is having medical emergency. He needs to go to the hospital. He can only travel north and south on a 4x4 four four grid. How many ways are there to reach ho the hospital? So, this is a grid type of problem. So, which one do you think it is in? I'm not sure. Is there a word anywhere here on the signs? On the sign? Yeah. No, no. No? Do you give up or do you want to try more? You, you tell. No problem. Okay. So since this is a grid problem, it's like moving. I put it in the ambulance because the ambulance is always moving. And if you open up, you can see the equation here. And this sentence. Oh, the answer is there are 70 ways. Yeah, there are 70 ways. The person can reach the hospital. Okay, now let's go on to the third question. There are 58 students in Mr. Freeze's class. 19 students have a cold and 20 have a fever. How many students have both a cold and a fever? What is this shape? Oh, good question. This shape is a clipboard. This why I made it into a clipboard mm -hmm. is because doctors take count of who have this much cold. How much do these people have? What medicine? How many people need this medicine? They take notes on a notepad to see how many people have this uh, particular thing. So that's why I did uh, um, a clipboard to write the notes. And what do you think? The answers are head. Uh, it seems like it is cold and cough. So I think it's something what has been written here. Choo, ha choo. Right? Yeah. Maybe here in this? No. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, on this mask, something like that? Oh, where is the mask? It's Under? On top? There, I don't see anything. How, how can I? <laughs> okay, let me show you. Why did you think about the mask? Oh. Because you have to cover when you're cold and you have a fever. You, uh, uh. So there's an answer. Right. Oh, well, you didn't hear it. Okay. Yeah. So what I just did is just glued on the sides. Mm hmm. This is my answer. I have the Venn diagram. I have the equations and I have the sentence. Now let me fold it back on. So what's the answer? I didn't say it. Oh, you want to know the answer? 
Yeah, tell me. That. So both how how many are both? Both have nineteen students have both cold and fever because I added these two thirty nine. When we minus it, we get the number of both. What is fifty eight? Oh, total total, total. from total you are dividing minusing. Okay. Hmm. That's great. And now, if we just to check, if we press all the numbers, twenty nineteen ninety equals perfect number fifty eight. So that's how I got the answer, nineteen. And these are all the questions, the main ideas. Now let me show you some details. Uh, we'll see if I can put this thing in. Put it like this way. Thanks, you. Okay, now you can see I have a multiplication sign made out of bandages. I and could see you have used many um, math symbols, right? Yeah, yeah. And I also yeah, have a division, division sign. With yeah, the this all looks like off oh, circle. Oh, and look, semicircle. Just, okay. Yeah, there are semicircles, and we have some items that are related to doctor symbols. Oh, really? And here are so the humans. Nice. So I put human and then an important sign of the doctor. Human, important sign, human, and then again human. <laughs> so these are all humans and important signs. These are like... Uh, and you haven't colored it inside. That's nice. Yeah. Because you want it to be like... Oh, simple. what is this? Oh, I made this out of straws, like... Um, Noodle straws, tubes, uh, it's a stethoscope. Stethoscope, yeah, it so looks <laughs> cute. So, basically that's all. So, so what do you think this was good? Was it good? Yeah, it's awesome. Nice. And I think you want me to lift it up. Mad cat. <laughs> that's nice. <laughs> Okay, well, thank you for watching and have a great day.